Hello, Wanderer. I can see you're still a little nervous. Your hormone index is higher than usual. Take it easy. It's just virtual training. Of course, I hope you can stay focused and try your hardest. Although your data has been uploaded to the database, I still need to confirm it again. What's your previous battle experience? Don't let your guard down. You'll be up against many new dangers. Now hold your device for... Virtual connection complete. Hey, are you okay? Let's move around a bit if you're feeling up for it. Swipe the screen to the right to adjust your view. Try looking around a bit. Good job! Now let's try aiming at the marked location with the crosshair in the center of your screen. It seems like you're already used to turning around. Now let's have a walk around and stretch our legs a little. Drag the joystick to move around freely. Can you see that marker? Let's go over and see what's there. Keep moving! Try to move while adjusting your view. Excellent! It seems like you've got the hang of the basic movement controls. Now it's time to try out a weapon. Tap on your inventory to pick up the equipment you want. Pick up this weapon and arm yourself. Obviously, rifles use rifle ammo. Let's pick up some rifle ammo and try it out. You've now got the hang of basic weapon collection controls, making you capable of engaging in combat. Now let's try firing a weapon. Slide the right side of the screen and aim at the enemy. Great! You're a natural! Along with manual fire, you can also use auto fire to help you in battle. I've enabled auto fire. All you need to do now is position your crosshair over the enemy to fire your weapon. Let's use auto fire again. Well done! You're a complete natural wanderer! Along with your own basic firearms, you can also use droid skills to assist you in battle. Tap on the skill button to view the skill bar and select one to use. 
See? The shield wall can provide us with some basic cover. Wanderers will get injured in the heat of battle. It's a fact of life. You can use meds to recover your HP. Now try these bandages. They can restore a small amount of health. And it wouldn't hurt to find cover while you're healing. Use a med pack and try moving around as you use it. After restoring back to full health, you can re-enter battle energized and recuperated. As a wanderer, alongside weapons and powerful skills, your own body also plays a vital role in battle. First, let's try rolling. Tap on the roll button to perform a tactical roll in the direction of your joystick. You're nice and agile, I see. You can roll to avoid attacks during battle. What should you do when you're faced with a small wall? Go around it? No need. We can vault over it. Tap the jump button to vault over the low wall. Head to the target location and try it out. That's right. This trick can also help you vault through windows and enter houses, improving your exploring speed significantly. So how can you get to the second floor or the roof quickly? The answer obviously isn't the stairs. Come on, let's head to the target location. Get close to the wall and tap the jump button to enter climbing mode. Exactly! Wanderers can climb on walls and trees, moving to the top to gain a more advantageous position. Well, I hope you're not afraid of heights, but you really don't have to worry about reaching the ground. Tap the jump button as you're diving through the air to enter glide mode. Try it! How does it feel? Free as a bird, right? Congratulations! You've successfully completed the tutorial. Now let's confirm a few final settings. After experiencing both firing modes, which one do you prefer? Which button mode best suits you? Setup complete! You can make changes in settings at any time. Now let's try out a battle against some bots.